we begin with Big Island officials asking folks to conserve power every night this week from 5 to 9 p.m. after supply chain issues shut down the largest power plant on Hawaii Island. Sam Spangler with more tonight in a story that's new at 10. You might want to cook or heat up your dinner a little early or late this week if you're on Hawaii Island. That's due to a lack of electric generation. Their main power source, Hamakua Energy Providers, and its 60 megawatts are offline. Hamakua is out of ammonia, which it uses for pollution control. Hawaiian Electric doesn't know when the plant will come back online, but two other power plants on the island totaling 29 megawatts are also down as they undergo maintenance. It was a, a shipment of ammonia that did not show up. Uh, this was made back in June, uh, and my understanding it's a regular periodic uh, order of ammonia that they need for pollution control. Pico is asking residents and companies to reduce electric use from 5 to 9 p.m. nightly when use peaks. There's a call for conservation, especially when our reserves are going to be tight. Right, because when, when you don't get the reserves, then you, you really fall into right, rolling blackouts. State Senate Energy Chair Glenn Wakai says this situation could have been avoided. I think that this situation was totally preventable if we had planned ahead and we had gotten all sorts of renewable projects out the door early. This comes as Hawaii Island's prices have jumped 23% to 48 cents a kilowatt hour since last year. It's frustrating for all of us. Um, you know, part of the reason, of course, that the price of oil went up and that's leading to this um, issue. It has come back down somewhat uh, since the peak, but that won't be reflected in people's bills for a couple more months. Lowen wants to see more cheap renewables like solar and battery storage. Puna Geothermal provides about 30% of the Big Island's power. Wakai wants to see that expanded. Manan Pele could provide energy for all of the Big Island, all of the state, and potentially create hydrogen for export. But we have not fully embraced the, the, the immensity of geothermal. If we had 100% geothermal, we could care less about ammonia, coal, oil. We would be having an island that is totally self-sufficient. For some energy-saving tips, you can head over to our website, khon2.com. Sam Spangler, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.